Good morning guys welcome to the channel now um i was gonna make this video for members only but i'm gonna make it for everybody because i'm not gonna give y'all too much um before the podcast later at 5 p.m pacific time 8 eastern time so here's an example of what i mean by middle and having patience and being able to win if you have patience let me show you the only wagers i made today was 179 under okay 179 under and over 171 so i middled but this middle is losing terribly. So I did another because I figured if it goes over 168, you know, it's probably gonna hit 171. So I'll be able to get a middle, which would be $200 because I know it ain't gonna go over 179 at this point. So I took under because I want to cover because of the fact the game is so low scoring. So now I got 168 under, 168 and a half for 200. Now this is the option I have once again. I have the option to Right now, I could take a over. I could put $200 on this 157 if I think they're going to come out second half and start scoring. I could put $200 on that, okay? And then I'll have between 154 and or over 154 and then under 168, which is an 11-point cushion. So I got two 11-point middle. Anybody know anything about, you know, what I'm telling y'all, that's amazing. And that's what I do. And it's no risk. I'm at no list risk to lose anything but the juice, if anything. But what I'm going to do is wait for the game. I'm going to hope that they start scoring. And then I'm going to take that over and then have a chance to win uh, $400. And then I'll be 100 away from my goal for the day. Actually, it'll be more like 380 because I'm going to lose the juice on one wager. So I'll be at, um, you know, close to my goal, which is 500 for the day. Now, I want you all to understand, this is the first game of the day. You know, I'm not even betting on the second game. I'm going to be patient now. I'm going to practice patience now that I'm doing this. And I'm looking to do this uh, for full-time income. I'm going to be patient. I'm not going to be greedy. Because if I'm greedy, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up having too many, um, you know, uh, wagers going on at one time. And it's going to um, cause me to ultimately have a bigger chance of um, having a bad day, losing day. So with that said, we're going to wait out this game. Um, hopefully, they start scoring and we can get a middle. And then we can hit for 400 If not, we're going to hit for $200. And then, like I said before, goal is $500. And it's that simple. The problem, as I told you before, is impulse control. I have terrible impulse control. So instead of me just stopping uh, at the 500, for example, if I'm hot, I'll keep going. Now, I want you to remember, the only time I should keep going is with the basketball tournament, March Madness, and college football Saturdays. Other than that, any regular day, take my 500 and be happy. Because if I do 500, you know, times seven days, you know, that's $3,500 for the week. I should be happy with that. You know, you figure, you know, you're hitting over $100,000, and this is what I did in Vegas. Now, remember, you have two months of really no sports to bet on other than international, but you don't really want to mess with that. So you take two months of off to where you do nothing but just chill. That's usually May and June. And then you're back at it in July. And then, you know, of course, um, April is March Madness. It's March Madness. So with that said, guys, it's that simple. This ain't no scam. This ain't no scheme. Now, is it legal to sports bet? Depending on your state, look it up. See if it's legal to sports bet in your state. Because if it's not legal, don't do it, okay? Um, it ain't worth the risk because of the fact you get in trouble um, and then you don't have a legitimate way of cashing out without doing something that can also get you in trouble. So with that said, guys, that's how it works. It's that simple, you know? And this video is quick. I want to just tell you guys, show you guys what I'm doing for the day. And I'm practicing patience because when I don't practice patience, I lose every time. And that's the reason why you have me, like, not being able to say that I'm um, able to do this full time because of the fact that you, you guys just saw I shouldn't make any more wagers it's just wait for this game don't bet on the second game yet now there's nine games or eight games today so you know um, summer league is usually good now if it's this good I'm gonna um, ex I'm gonna increase my daily to a thousand dollars and then I'm done but right now I'm happy with 500 because well, what I need to do I'm just trying to rack it up until um uh, basketball tournament now remember basketball tournament is the same way as summer league so you see how the game i could have had i could have put a thousand dollars on under 179 and i wouldn't be putting no wagers on because it ain't going to go in overtime and if it does go in overtime the first team to score seven points from the um, high scoring team wins so that's taking away any chance of you losing because of a high scoring at overtime because the most points that can be scored in overtime is 13 points so that's the reason why I tell y'all, like when basketball tournament starts the same way I just did this summer league game, I do the same thing with basketball tournament, except I'm doing thousand dollars. So when that line opens and it dips, I'm putting a thousand dollars under and I'm riding that wave down all in. And then when it starts to go up, 
I'm taking the, the other half of my bankroll and going on over. And then I'm got a chance to double up my bankroll multiple times. So remember, if you got 30 um, basketball tur the basketball tournament games, and if I get like freaking five double ups, and I'm starting with $5,000, you do the math. Let's just do math on that. That's that's five, five to nine, nine to eight, okay? Or five to nine, nine to 18, or 17, um, 17 to 30, 30 to 60, 60 to 110 thousand dollars profit. Okay, that's what we're talking about. So with that said, I gotta go handle some business. I'll see you guys later on today. Podcast at five Pacific time. That's all I got for y'all. Let me do a thumbnail real quick. All right, I'm out. Peace.